Hello everyone, this is Brad at High Altitude Scale Modeling. Today we're going to take a look at the Tupolov TU-95MS Bear. This is my entry for the multi-engine bomber group build. 172 scale, which I don't build very often. However, when you see the size, you'll know why it's 172 scale. Beautiful cover art. Two different schemes, but they're both natural metal. So let's take the cover off. And we're going to have to remove this out of the way. Start with these enormous wings. All right. As you can see, each sprue contains one wing, top and bottom, separate flaps, separate flaps. It looks like you get another engine they sell in here. You can see that detail on there. See if this helps. So we get the right angle. Too much glare on there. There we go. See some of that nice detail on there. Riveting detail. Actually, just panel line details. Not many rivets on this. Let's see how big the wings are. 16 inches, a little over 16 inches, so it's going to have a 32 inch wingspan. And the fuselage is going to be in the center, so I'm figuring it's going to be 35, 36 inches wide. Next, we'll look at the fuselage again. Monster. as you can see cut in two halves this way and then the back section connects onto there okay and let's try and get some of this detail on here there we go you can see that better focus Flat, oh, these are Bombay doors. That looks like the Bombay. Refueling probe. Again, this, just this part is 14 and a half inches. So you're looking at a good 23 inch fuselage. Engine nacelles. Alright, there you go. These are the larger ones that are going to go on the inside of the wings. These are going on the outside of the wings, the smaller ones. As you can see again, some really nice detail in that. There you go. I'm 
guessing these are the flaps, or they're part of the elevators. Little bits. As much as you can think, maybe little in here. Two identical screws. Each engine has two propellers. Nice detailing on the leading edge of the propellers. Maybe a little bit of flash on the tips. Nothing too much to worry about. Tires are not flat spotted. There's flash all over this tire here. I hope you can see that detail on that prop right there. So, those are good. Lots of little bits here that I don't know what they're for yet. The rest of the wing bits, the elevator bits. like part of the front landing gear. Flaps, elevators, rear landing gear legs, landing gear bays. I don't see much fuselage detail on this or cockpit detail on this. Probably not going to see much, but I'm guessing these are the main flaps, and these are the flaps for the insides of the wings. And these look to be for the elevators, so the other ones must have been for the ailerons. Clear parts in one seventy second, they're going to be very small. But they are clear. Give them that. The main canopy windows are clear. Obviously, you're going to paint over that part there. Side windows are clear. Yeah. Some nice clear parts on there. decals. I'm going to get them out of the package because there's not very many of them, but they're made by Trumpeter. Stars. Not many, no stencils or anything in here. I have to see if I can order a stencil set. And finally, instructions. Nice big instruction sheet. Ooh, nice fold out. Color guide too. Most of it's going to be in natural metal. This color here says it's burnt iron. These parts here that are darker. All the rest of this is natural metal. Flat black on the glare panel. So, simple paint job, but it's going to take a lot of alclad. There's a Ukrainian one. Next, looks like they're all this Ukrainian markings. Russian markings. Yeah, it's just Ukrainian Air Force or Russian Air Force. You can tell by the star or the badge. Start with the landing gear. Sits in the bays. Nice sprue map to start with. Wings go together. I guess you have to decide how you want the flaps at that stage. Engines go together with the landing gear. Looks like you have to put the landing gear in beforehand, so you have to mask that to paint it. 
unless you leave the nacelles off to paint them. And obviously, I'm going to have to leave this in sections to paint it because there's no way I could paint the whole thing right here. Engine nacelles go together. Fuselage has go together. There looks like there's just that little part there and two seats, and that makes up the whole cockpit. Two seats, a couple of sticks, and an instrument panel. Front wheels. Uh, they have to go in. Wings go on. Tells you the outside is silver, the inside is duck egg green. Typical Russian colors. Elevators, tail. Other wing. Gives you some more colors. IG in gray, burnt iron. Parts for the lower fuselage. There's the bomb bay doors. They go in last. Different panels. These are the guns for the back, it looks like. Maybe not. Doesn't look like a complicated build, just a large build. It's going to take a lot of alclad to make this thing shiny. So, there you go. That's my build for the multi-engine bomber group build that we're putting on. I hope you're joining us. Thank you.